This video will take you step by step through the process of creating your piece, The Juggler. The materials you will need are the picture you've chosen for your person who's going to be juggling, the spheres that you drew and shaded, you should have about 6 to 10, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and an X-Acto knife if you have one. If not, scissors is fine. Gather your materials and I'll help you get started. The very first thing I'm going to cut out is going to be my spheres. I'm going to use my scissors to do this. I find that the best way to cut out a lot of small things from a piece of paper is to remove the paper from my sketchbook and then to cut out around each object. So here you can see I'm cutting out each square, just kind of making a pile of them and removing the excess paper. And I'm just going to cut out each of the squares um, into about a rectangle or a square shape and then I'm gonna go back in and cut all the way around the edges. That way I don't have a lot of extra white paper kind of flapping and getting in my way as I'm cutting around them. Now that I have all of my spheres pre-cut out into the little squares of paper, I'm going to take my scissors and now really carefully and slowly I'm going to be cutting out each individual sphere. You'll notice that as I'm cutting my hand is rotating the paper and my scissors are st staying pretty stationary. So my scissors are not moving that much, it's really my hand that's moving the paper. I find this is a much easier way um, and it also prevents my hand from getting cramped too much when I'm using a pair of scissors. So let's take some time. You can cut out your spheres um, and then just organize them in a little pile so that you don't by accident throw them away as you're working. Now that my spheres are complete, I'm going to get started on cutting out the person that is going to be juggling all my spheres in my collage. To cut out my person, I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. Now we have these to use in the classroom. If you are at home and are working and don't have an X-Acto knife, um, you can just continue to use your pair of scissors. It will work just fine. Um, if you have an X-Acto knife at home and want to use it, follow along with these tips that will help you as you're working. Tip number one is always to have your hand that's not doing the cutting in a position where the blade cannot slip and cut it, okay? So you'll see me working here and I'm bringing the blade and um, just kind of gently letting it glide along the paper and bringing the blade um, towards myself. Um, and my non-dominant hand, so my left hand is kind of off to the side just stabilizing the paper, but it is far enough away from the blade that if I slipped, I wouldn't cut myself. Okay, so you always want to be really, really careful um, and working really slowly um, and just making sure that your um, hands and your fingers are always out of the way for um, the blade if it potentially slips. So tip number two is you'll notice that I'm working on top of a cutting board. Um, so the green board that is underneath of my cutting area is a board that's made especially to kind of protect my tabletop surface. So if this board was not underneath of my paper and I was using my X-Acto knife, I would be making small cuts into my tabletop surface, which would ruin that tabletop surface. So you always want to make sure you have some kind of cutting board underneath of your surface if you're using an X-Acto knife. So tip number three is that I'm working in sections. So I'm working in sections that are about two to three inches at a time and then cutting and removing the paper away from the body. 
And this just really helps me to ensure that as I'm working, I am getting a nice close cut towards the body. I'm not going or rushing too fast and that um, it looks good. Once everything is cut out, you can start playing around with the spheres and the person and arranging them to see what really looks cool and creative to you. Remember, you only have to have six of the spheres, so if you don't want to use all of them, you definitely don't have to. Play around with the positioning and the height of the spheres and come up with an orientation that looks really cool to you. of white drawing paper in your portfolio. Glue your person and your spheres down to make it look like your person is juggling. Make sure that the person's legs or their torso is lined up at the bottom of the page and that all, everything is glued down around the edges. And that's it, you're done. Great job creating your juggler. Hope you had fun and see you next time.